During the summer, sometimes my family would go on vacation. My brother and sister and I would want to go swimming. Uh, my mom would freak out and lose her mind. Don't go in the water past your knees because the undertow. The undertow will suck you down. It's like we're at the pool, Mom, okay? Why don't you put down the martini and get out of the sun? I'm 18 years old, I think I got this swimming shit down. These water wings are ripping out my pit hair. Ah, ah, I need some Vaseline, Mama! My parents used to take me camping every year. Not like wilderness camping, they'd take me to some campground somewhere. You guys ever been to a campground? Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a bunch of people who don't live in a trailer park, yet like to vacation there. <laughs> a lot of tube tops running around. A lot of drunken elderly people. <laughs> I just tried to fit in, that's what I did. I just tried to fit in. I just kind of hung out with everybody else in some lot somewhere, right? Like, what? caught 40 bluegill. <laughs> oh, well, past the dirty ketchup, this is living. Children will never know the joy of shooting your brother with fireworks. We, yeah, we used to get them, what, every New Year's Eve and July 4th? And you didn't use them like you were supposed to. You didn't, it's stupid to just go put them in the street and light the fuse and run away. That's dumb. You wait two months till people forget you have them. Then you run outside, f***ing up everybody's baseball game, shooting fire out of your hand like a wizard. I like fishing. Fishing's a great sport, and you know it doesn't require a lot of athletic ability, which is good, but I have to admit, I feel a little bad for the fish sometimes. Imagine that scenario. You're swimming around, minding your own business, and then you see the best meal you've ever seen in your life. Right after that, you learn a very important lesson about things being too good to be true. Now there's a hook in your cheek, you're getting dragged around, you're scared, now you're up, you're out of your home, you can't breathe, there's a giant messing around with you. Good news is the hook comes out, bad news, penis goes in, and then you get cut up and eaten. I guess what I'm trying to say is that everyone fishes differently. I love flip-flops, they're my favorite shoes, man. Anybody got them on right now, flip-flops? They're awesome, aren't they? That's all I do in New York in the summer. I wear flip-flops. I watch the women in the hip-hugger pants. It's like a hobby, you know? Although I got to admit, some women should not be wearing the hip-hugger pants. Sorry, little public service announcement right there. It's sort of like when you see a fat guy with that thin little beard that goes right around his jawline. You know what I'm talking about? Sort of says, this is where my face used to end, you know, that guy? 